All right, it's your show, everybody's show, the whole world show, like Ghana's favorite show. I know I don't I don't even know what to say. Yeah, yeah, it's E with Bex, baby, with your baby girl, Becky. We're on the move. I don't know, I just want you to anticipate because this is where you get all the entertainment, exclusive entertainment news from. It's sitting right here on Joy Prime. I'm your host, Becky. Today, I just want you to anticipate. We are always on the move, trying to get you everything you need to hear in the world of entertainment. Please, join me. I think I'm in love. Body like a fire. Hey, all country, Jesus. Cool. Now, all country. Hey, really? Okay, so he doesn't need any introduction. Fuse, ODG, everybody, thank you so much for, you know, oh no, you're having me in your home. No, it's okay. This is so big. Intinu, Fuse, na yene ni, and chuchin komo, e wo show ni so, e yeah, iwi bags, Fuse! Yeah, let's put that here. Oh, okay, sure. This is a very big house. I know, right? And you don't have no woman taking care of it. No, I have some special people taking care of it. Special people. Selling and penning. You need to come for me so I can show you selling. Okay. That's selling over there. Oh. They're looking up for the house. Is it a she or a he? Can you believe? And and he's and he's taking care of your house for you. It's like you're married to Sterling. No, I mean I'm not. I know you're not gay. Obviously, you're not gay. I mean, which one is Penny? Oh, Penny. Spell it for a penny, bro. I am in one. But some now, what can you do? This one, nobody will believe you. I know, right? I know, right? Fuse. Wow. You have to answer that question. Yeah. So, why is no woman taking care of the big house for you? I, I know you don't, you know, live here. here. My brother is here. Your brother is here. Um, yeah, I have a couple. My, my brothers are here. Okay. They're the ones that look after the house mainly. And then this is like a working house, you know. Like we have a factory here as well. Okay. Studios here, music studio, editing suite. I would love um, to see the studio though. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll That's go. what you're taking me to, right? Yeah, we'll go to the studio. We'll okay. Two studios to any. But but you're you're in Ghana. What what are you? I mean, you just come I mean, in I'm, and out. Yeah, I'm in Ghana. Unannounced. To check up on the school. Okay. You know. I know about the school. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much, um, I mean, it's a laudable idea. Yeah, I, I can't. So, how, how did that happen? How, yeah, how? So, it's, I, I'm always the kind of person we like to give, and I've been working on the school since 2007. 2007. Before my music even blew up. You know? wow. So, when the music blew up, that's when I started investing my own money into it. And now we have a primary school, school working primary school that hosts 200, over 200 kids. And then we're now building a high school, secondary school. Wow! So it's not like you, you decide to go into music and got uh, money out of yeah. music, and you decide that okay, I want to it's just. Time to. Nah, to I've always been that kind of person. Oh. In, when I was in London, I was doing community projects. Okay. And we raise money from that community project, and we'll send it to Ghana, and that's how we started the school. Oh wow! Send it to Akosombo. So when my music took off, we just put more money into it, more resources. And now, yeah, we need to build a secondary school, school. so I'll come to check up on it. Of course, I just finished my album. I recorded it in Ghana as well. I mm. always come. Yeah. Even if it's for a weekend, I come to record because I like the energy of my country. Because if I'm selling Ghana to the world, I have to make sure that the product is made yeah. in Ghana. And, and you have managed to sell Ghana to the rest of the world. Yeah. But do you do anything apart from music, apart from the uh, community service that you've been doing? Yeah. Where's um, the studio? Let's go this way. Oh, this, this, this way. way. Yeah, we're working on a, on a festival okay. um, for January the 4th in Accra um, at the trade fair. You know, the kind of festival we want to put on is a world-class festival. We want to put on an experience where you come in and we want to showcase Ghana culture, okay. our culture. So you see, everyone needs to be, it's a kente um, affair as well, so you have to come with your... We have to all be in a kente touch. Yeah, touch. Okay, yes, touch I like that. Yeah, yeah touch because <laughs> because don't yeah. tell us to put on the whole you know, thing. No, it's, it's like a touch. It's I'm a getting touch. It's New Africa. Okay. Yeah, it's New Africa, so it's a touch. So, so that's the idea. Mix it with the kente because we need to preserve our culture. So that's the whole point. And also, there's going to be people coming from all over the place. We want them to see our culture. But when you go to places like um, I don't know, uh, Spain, Ibiza, you just hear their music play. You see them just like how you know yeah. their culture. They represent their culture. You go to somewhere like Italy. 
you know, they represent their culture, culture. with their food and everything, the way they yeah. talk. So we want people to experience our culture when they come over here, you know, so and that's the whole point of the festival. Okay, so, so yeah, this, 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 this is the studio this that... This is one of the studios. That oh, that's one of the studios. Yeah, yeah. So how many studios do you have? <laughs> you have two studios. Oh, yeah. two. And but, this is one. And yeah, that's... it's one of the studios. Okay. Yeah, this, this is... um. I had Teen Love featuring Angel. She was my age. Yeah, mine. yeah. So this is like a plaque for like oh, over okay. two hundred thousand copies sold, and this is light it up with Remember, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is like how many right now? Six hundred thousand. But yeah, this is even it's, it's old now. So. Uh, and then this is the Bia Bay. I know, and, right? Yeah. And it's, um, yeah, it's about two million copies. Um, how so do you that. feel? Yeah, it's nice to be able to um, make music that I want to make, especially okay. with uh, Ghana influence, and for it to go worldwide like that. It's nice. It's good. It's, it's a blessing, mm. you know. And that's why I don't take it for granted because I know where I'm from, and I also know that God has put me here for a reason. So I use the platform to help us. And that's why everything I like to bring home. All these artists, I like to bring them home. Yeah. How come you're not like all over the place? Like, okay, I'm fused. I have mm. all these things. Like, I have a very big house. Oh, he has a very big house. <laughs> you know, you're no, you're no. not. Yeah. You, and, and you're not. Up in our faces like that because because you know I'm I'm humbled by God's blessing. Okay. Me a kumasini like. Na me nim salty. And na me catch up. Stop brochering it. They will not brochure it. I'm brochuring it. Yeah, but I I me go school kumasini. Okay. Me me go London, but I was born in London. I'm back Ghana. I'm back to London, but I've always been. Ghana was so good to me as a kid. Yeah. Like I was a happy kid, you know. Even even though I grew up in Ashtown, mm. you know Ashtown is like holding Kumasi. I know, Kumasi. Right? but it was it was nice playing around on the road barefoot, you know, your bubble. Yeah. Oh, kind so like so when I went to London, I really appreciated Ghana more, you know. But being in London, I wasn't so proud of being African. There's a phone ringing. Whose it's phone very, is it's that? It's very important to this point right now. <laughs> <laughs> in the show, <laughs> being in London, I wasn't so proud of being. African or Ghanaian because the way they looked at me, they thought that we lived in a jungle. Mm. So like we have like monkeys. Mon or yeah, or we like live with monkeys and there's we're poor and there's poverty. Like, and can you, you imagine you me as, in, as in, a monkey? Yeah. <laughs> I can't be a monkey, really. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not the truth. No. But also yeah, crying that Uncle Force will be our free. Yeah. You wouldn't be proud to represent to, yeah, yourself. I, yeah. I was more trying to be like them. So I said, my okay. accent in the change here, British, you know. Yeah. I felt like I was losing my Ghana you culture. Were. But when I got older, I realized that, yo, this is my home. Like, this is where you're coming from. We have from. amazing culture. We have amazing clothes, amazing food. Like, my coffee, I'm a journey, I'm a man, I'm a London. Like, it's better than any other food. So mm. I know, say, we have a rich culture, so I have to represent it. And to me, music really brought me back home and coming back to Ghana and seeing how. You know, our country is an amazing country. To me, it's the best country in the, and, in the and, world. And and you've managed to bring, uh, you know, you brought a lot of people yeah, exactly. down it's, it's here. Sure and it's like, I, rem it's, I, it's I remember, uh, that let, let me tell everybody, I remember when Ed was here, I was here. Like, I had a picture though. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have an interview, but it's okay. You it's put a picture. Let, let everyone <laughs> prove that you have a Not many people have that, you know. <laughs> I did, I did, and and we never got the um, uh, interview opportunity because no. you guys had to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we were you running know. around trying to make things work, but yeah, we can make it happen. Mm. Doing interview and I think we would have more to talk about when we visit your other studio. So let's yeah, just yeah, yeah. go there. Take the shackles off my feet Make a go, make a go It's a battle with the beast Take your shield, here we go Kwame Nkuma take over New Africa make over Let's bow our heads and pray your Lord Our Father help us fight the war Brave you, brave you Brave you, na ye train wo Brave you, brave you Brave you, na ye train wo so, so what's the idea? What birth so the, the idea, idea of this? is to just have representation. Can for I have a different one? one? Yeah. Nana Makiba. Yeah, Makiba. So I'm Nanaya actually. Are you actually? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. <laughs> you don't believe that on me, yeah? So what what bet this idea? So the idea is that you know when we, we fruits, go, can you have this? Yeah, it's nice. When when you go to like a shop in Ghana or somewhere in Africa, you all you see is white dolls. White dolls. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Why okay. is it that our, it needs to reflect our kids? You know, so these dolls are supposed to be a representation of us. Because uh. if we if they don't see themselves, they're not gonna love themselves enough. Okay. So this is to say that you can be a queen. Not that you can be a Barbie doll. Barbie doll. Yeah. yeah. They're kind of Bruniba. Like, yeah. I didn't say that. Oh, you yeah. understand? It needs to be something that represents us. You know, so it represents you. You understand? So, we, are, we are successful people doing yeah. our thing. These women are women who did a lot of great things for Africa. Yeah. For Ghana. Yasantua did Yasantua. a lot of great things. Makeba is a singer. Uh, Miriam Makeba yes. from South Africa. Yes. Uh, Nana Kuti, fellow Kuti's mom. Kuti. Felakuti's mom. Oh. So she was a serious activist. Okay. So this is the this is the way to educate our kids as well. Okay. You understand? So so these proceeds goes back yeah, to so, the school. Yeah. So a percentage of this goes to the school, yeah. and you can get it at um, newafricanation.com. Newafricanation.com. Nation Nation okay. I'm just keeping this one because it's Nanaya. <laughs> I don't have a kid yet. Okay. But yeah, eventually, but you can still, you can still eventually keep, when I get married. Either keep it for yourself or for your niece. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so uh, this is where we are, New African Nation. This is where we decided that uh, we'll just finish this interview and go because Fuse had to go and do something. <laughs> are you still working on the album? Yeah, we just finished the album, actually. Okay. Um, Literally, not long ago, like a couple of days ago, we just finished the album. Mm. And I'm very excited for everyone to hear what we're bringing to the table. Like, we just showed you a preview of the next yeah. one. The next song I that's was privileged. <laughs> you were not. It's called, it's called Berthier. Okay. And it's about, you know, the next mission right now is bringing our people back home. People back home. Yeah, so that's the main concept of the, the next album. Are we still, do you think that we're still struggling with um, racism? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely racism out there. Uh. Um, in terms of the Western world, yeah, yeah. racism is, it happens every day. Yeah. But you can't expect, you know, this is our land, you understand? At the end of the day, they're always gonna, you know, claim that it's their land. It's theirs. You know, yeah. so some people feel privileged more than others, and it shouldn't be like that. We're all human beings, all flesh, you can die in a minute. Yeah. But because there's an imbalance, because first of all, there's, there's always been a, a superiority that's been promoted with the white. white. You understand? Yeah. So now we need to find a way to balance it. Uh, okay. The best way to do it, yes, of course, is self-love. Us loving uh. ourselves and working together, moving together and having power so they understand that you're, you're not better than me, so we're the same kind of thing. And the other thing is that we move back home and we build on our land. Uh, why is that so important? It, it's, it's very important because this is our land. This is the purest land on earth. Like life began in the motherland. Mm. I say my life is free. Because other people, other people, I know ninety nine. Correct me if I'm mistaken, though. But ninety nine point nine percent of the people would want to travel outside the country. Yeah, no, but it doesn't make sense. Making you, it here. In if Ghana. you think about it, we were taken from here. If you don't know the history about how slavery started, we were taken from here. And we were we were all nice before, mm. you know. And I always say to people, we were like. An empire, we're an empire. Yeah. They came and they took us, well, around 1619, they took us. But how can our ancestors rest knowing that you are living a life over there and dying in a country where they were forced to go to? Mm. They would, I would be more comfortable knowing that my, my kids are now back home, my great great grandkids are back home where I was taken. That's the only way there's justice. Okay. If you, do, you, do you get yeah. what I mean? Yeah, you're, you're I forced understand. You're forced yeah, to walk away, yeah. You didn't want to go. Why is it that we're not really, we're not remembering our history to know that they would want to come back home? See, that's the only way their souls can really rest in peace. If we came back home and we rebuilt the place that was home. Okay. You know, so to me, it's very important for us to come back home, even just out of respect for our ancestors. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, when we're looking for... And plus, the there's happiness here. Oh, yeah, definitely <laughs> there's happiness. But a lot of people complain about you know amenities things that are not you know really here money especially especially in your industry the music I mean, industry have you heard i mean it, it depends on what you see as success to me success is um great health okay uh happiness um 
you know, having your family, like to me, you have to realign where you measure a success. Of mm. course, money will come, but money don't really bring good health and happiness. You understand? So once we start from there, we'll be able to realign how we see success. But success is not about buying like Gucci or mm. whatever, like buying cars. You know, success is really about health and loving yourself and feeling happy within yourself. Once we start from there, I think we'll, we'll all be better people. Do you get me? So it's not, of course, there's money to be made in the motherland as well. Yeah. There's money to be made here. We all just need to get together and build and make money together. But the only way we can make money together is if, if we work together. Instead of buying, you know, um, Gucci or whatever, whatever, buy something that your brother or your sister has made. Mm. Buy something that's like African made, you know, because I don't know whether you know, but statistically, it, it takes it takes about 10 minutes for money to leave the black community oh. and in the Jewish community it takes about three months or so like it takes a long time before money leaves the Jewish community because they're always going into their own shops they're always investing in their own, own businesses. businesses but we, we get our money and we go we and buy Mercedes-Benz we take it to Dubai yes we take know? it to different countries you understand we don't reinvest it back into our own countries and we have enough for us to be able to live a lifestyle here and to be happy. Mm. We have enough, like, we have enough. A lot of the inventions, you know, outside were made by black people. It's that they don't teach us. That. Tra traffic lights were made by a black man. Mm. You know, there's so many things that were made by a black may man. May maybe there are so many things that we don't know about ourselves here in Ghana or um, in Africa. But you have been here and you've been there. Yeah. You've been able to see, you know, so many things out there. You've learned you know so many things out there um comparing i i don't even want to start comparing but mm -hmm. when you take a look at you know music outside the country music down here in ghana uh, what do you make of our industry the state of our industry i think there's a lot of talent here mm -hmm. there's definitely a lot of talent here and i always say to people especially outside i say to them you know, Ghana has some of the best talent in the world. It's just that this, the platform is not, the world is not paying attention to us like okay. how they should be. Okay. You know, but that's why I bring different artists down here. Down just here so all I can, the time. I can show them the music that we have here. Okay. You know, when Ed Sheeran came, I was, you know, he loved Joey B, mm -hmm. he loved Sarko there, you know, he loved R2Bs. Do you get it? So it's up to us to educate the world that the talent that we have here and also to prove to the world that you can make a world-class music. You saw the plaques in the studio. Yes. It was all made in, in Ghana. Ghana. You understand? Ed Sheeran came to Ghana, Ghana and now we've sold millions of copies of music mm -hmm. that's won Grammy. Yeah. So therefore, it's possible to make a world-class music in Ghana. We just need to recognize it. Okay. And just make, keep, continue to make the best music that we can make and continue to work with each other. And me, I'm ready to do whatever that I can to showcase Ghana to the world. Okay, so is that the reason why you're bringing the festival down yeah, here? Yeah, because I want all the artists here to connect. I want people here to connect with different people, you know, because if there's a reason why, you know, God put me in this position to bridge a gap. Mm. And I feel like the festival is a nice way for us to get together and bridge a gap. So when people come, you know, you can you, you can meet people from other countries. Yes, you understand. We get to know our culture. We get to you know get married, whatever. Like you know. Well, now that now that you mentioned, <laughs> when when are you getting married? When am I getting married? I don't know when I'm getting married. You mm -hmm. know, but you I do dating? want to, I do want to get married. Okay. I do want to get married. Um, I'm not in a situation like that. But you're not being forced I, by your mama to. Oh, you're growing. You need to get a woman. You're growing. You, 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 I mean, you have your house. I mean, yeah. it happens all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get that? Because if you're from Ghana, you should yeah. be getting that all the time. Yeah, no, nah, I do. Um, I do. I do get pressure um, from my parents, but um, I do have um, uh, uh, someone who helps me out. You know, a special someone who helps me out, and I'm very thankful. You know, for that woman and. Eventually, I hope that I can. I'll be able to get married and have like 200 kids. No, not 200 <laughs> kids. <laughs> <laughs> I have like 200 kids, you know. So, um, no, nah, because I love kids. Yeah. I do love kids, you know. So I have so much love. You see the school that I have. Yeah. There's like 200. I already have 200 kids. You already. So I should have like 200 have more, more. Make it 400. 400. Yeah. How are you going to take care of those? 
babies? It's love. Aww. Love is the currency. <laughs> let's 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 just stay <laughs> until on it's time to chop fufu. <laughs> <laughs> Let's mm. let's let's still stay on on, on on the industry, like in the Ghanaian music industry, because still we're in the industry. Yeah. Uh, there have been calls for uh, support for the music industry, for yeah. the growth of the music industry. Because you are a musician, I think you you're, you're in a better place to answer this question. What can we do apart from you know working together and recognizing our own stuff what else can we do because it looks like there's nothing really going on everybody's oh we need support we want the industry to grow mm. but we don't know how to make it work what is what are we doing different that yeah. other people are doing that way we, we don't have any idea of <laughs> you are successful you know musician yeah, i think we so just that's the reason we why. need to keep pushing um, we need to educate ourselves more on you know it's, the game has changed now it's, it's now streaming mm. services um we need to just educate ourselves and because we have the best music we just need to we need to stream it ourselves there's so many okay. Ghanaians across the world you know we ne they need to be streaming we all need to be streaming and moving together because that's the only way that our music can get out there if we're listening to our own music when i come to ghana i'm hearing you know music that I hear in the US and I'm thinking we're not playing our own music so yeah, how can yeah. we be complaining about other people not playing us? We need to start with ourselves. Don't you don't you think that some of the music that are churned out uh, in into the system are not really good music? It's the reason from, why from we're here. not yeah it's the reason no, why there's, we're there's, not playing. Are you telling me I'm there's not enough the, good artists here I'm to not play saying, our I'm not music? saying that some of the music I can't put it on. I can't but that's everywhere listening. That's everywhere. There's rubbish music in, in America as well. You know, they call it mumble music. But, but, but P, you listen to it. So there's, it's all types of music. And then there's the music of Kendrick Lamar, who we respect. You understand? And it's the same here. We have our Sarko there. You understand? We have our, you know, our R2Bs. You know, we have our Chateau Wale. You understand? Like, and we have music that comes and goes. You understand? So it's the same everywhere. We just need to love it all. You know, we need to love the good ones and we need to love the ones that come and go quick as well because at the end of the day it's our, it's our industry, you know. How's your relationship with Kim Thomas? Yeah, that's, that's, that's my boy because you know he started from here. Yeah, so, so yeah. Yeah, I'm just asking because... The yeah, nah, come on, I love the kid because you have to go through life with love, you understand? And everything that I've done for Kim Thomas is out of love. Understand? It wasn't in, I never asked for anything back. Understand? It's always been love. So definitely, like you know, I just I hope that he goes the highest that he can go. You know, because I'm back. always giving him advice on, you know, making sure that he's, you know, uh, thankful and stay humble during the journey. And I've always shared my experiences. You can ask him. You know, I've always been someone who shared my experiences with him to make sure that he's going through the right, you know, right route. So I have nothing but love. Okay. So just just to clear the air on uh, this issue, Ishan. I was I remember talking to Ishan. I don't know what is it Ishan, Ishan, the same spelling. Forgive me, baby. But yeah, I was I was talking to her a few months ago, yeah. and she was complaining about. Uh, Song. I don't know whether it was a song. Yeah, it, it was a song. Yeah. And I think it, it Did you know about the song before that? No, I, I didn't. I didn't so, know about so the song. then she, okay, so there was she, no need to bring something that's not confirmed to the public. No, no, so it was, no, no, it was all over the. It was all over the. Be, place. Before that. No, no. That's not what the I mean. Song. That's what I mean. So we, it was something that we were working on, and unfortunately, what she, was com what she was complaining about was a contract. Yeah, for the song. Obviously, I have no idea. For the song for the or song. for her? Uh, no, for the song. It was okay. for three people. Yeah. She mentioned three people and she okay. thinks that there's something wrong with the contract. So if something wrong with it, if, they, if you see a contract and there's something wrong with it, what do you do? You go back to the person. Exactly. So she never go back to you? No. Okay. Do you feel there, that your name there was... was it, I found out a lot of the things from me seeing things. I'm like, okay, if you have... Like what you just said, you just go back until we come to an agreement, because it's called an agreement. agreement. Unless both parties agree, we can never move forward. 
How do you feel about that? I feel like, you know, it's, it's, it's just bad, bad business. You know, if you haven't finished, but you're just telling. Everybody you know, Yeah, knows. it just, it's, it doesn't look good. And it doesn't look good for me. You know, I wish she could have, I don't know why she felt like she couldn't have, you know, said everything that she said out there to me. Okay. Because I'm not like a scary person or whatever. Like, Maybe I want the best, I want the best for them because the reason why I worked with them, is not because they're big, it's because I'm a fan of their talent. Okay. And I want them to be big. That's why I worked with them. That's it. How come you haven't discovered my talent? But you have, you have have talent, talent though. I saw yeah, your talent. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yo, you guys should have seen the way she was twerking just now before the cameras I came on. I wasn't twerking. Yeah, I saw you. Really? <laughs> you say that on national. I wasn't twerking. <laughs> it's hey, just twerking is image. a it's a motherland <laughs> art. It's just them. They just repackaged it. But yo, it's real. Uh, people. Okay, did it. granted, I don't have any talent. So let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's talk about, you know, um, life as fuse. Yeah. Yeah. I'm How a very your... simple guy. Yeah. I, I, like... I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I... dude, it's just simple. I'm like, <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm a very simple guy. I like to eat a lot. I like working, making okay. music, and I like, um, yeah, building my school. I like helping other people, and I like to help talent whenever I can. Okay. You know, because I know that God put me here for a reason and I have to fulfill my purpose. So I'm, I'm an easy guy. And so. you have a favorite food? Yeah. Um, Don't in tell between. Because <laughs> you've been mentioning it before. All no, but it's not for food though. But okay. it's between, um, I really like wache. Eh? And okay. I really like, um, but for food, maybe for food so, so. And I okay. like omuto. Omuto. Yeah, mm -hmm. and abengwa. Yeah. Okay, so which one is But to like, be honest, I can't really pick because it depends on the day. You're, you're, you're supposed to pick. I'm supposed to pick. It's very, it. it's very hard because I haven't even mentioned Jolo. Even though watch it, watch it, yeah. Jolo. You know, but um, no. If I had to pick, if I had to really, really pick, like now, at this time, it's Fufu. But okay. it's because so of the, the time. <laughs> what, what are the ingredients you use? Fufu. Yeah. Hey. Oh, that's ingredients. Hey, Nanka, you have to cassava na ede. Exactly, cassava. So you 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 peel the cassava. What kind of food are we talking about right now? They they're pounding on us like Kumasi style na. No need. Kumasi style. Kumasi style. Like the sweat. <laughs> 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 that's what I'm talking that's about. That's what you're talking about. Prepare. That one we start with sweat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you start to sweat because it has the flavor. You enjoy, you enjoy the sweat. <laughs> I, I know that compote is so. I don't understand. That's the main ingredient. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's the secret. So in your Babylon, you're making your fufu and it's not tasting the same because you need you to be working that, yeah. hard for it. <laughs> so but after that, after that, of course, uh, cassava. Do you like with lime magic. soup or? You know what. I like light soup, but I prefer like a ben kwain, kati kwain. Prepared the a ben kwain. Okay, a ben kwain. Any anything? Say, London they need different. London no more. Oh, we need palm nut seasoning and that. Oh God. Oh dear man. Oh, but say it's easy. So you have to package it all with the cook. Okay. Into, of course, you start with your onions and they be king. Onions okay. and uh, your friend is saying. You're the only one preparing. Maybe it. onions, tomatoes. Everybody get their formula. Like, okay. Onions, tomatoes. Uh, your friend is saying, uh, of course, seasoning. We be seasoning. Mm. There's different types of seasoning. I'm not helping. <laughs> <laughs> now, yo, you know, action speaks louder than words. No, what kind of action? Yo, is the this? next episode with the cooked Pablo soup. <laughs> next episode, Pablo soup. Okay. I'll show you. So, so were you preparing for when you were, you know, working on this album? What inspired the album? What's the title of the album? New African even... Nation. New African Nation. Yeah. So the first one was. Oh, this so the is album New is, is right behind yeah, you. Yeah, it's right behind. And right. Yeah, right here, right but here. You didn't give me one. Right the here. Album. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. Um, what, what inspired? What inspired? Yeah, you? the idea of the album. So the first one was this is New Africa. This is New Africa. It's changing the mentality, and that's what we were doing and making people proud of being African. And we're getting there, you know, and we have enough enough Africans who are proud, proud. and now we're a nation. Okay. We see physical results. So everything that we do from now is what can we do to build a nation? Right. That's what New African Nation is. We're building a school, okay. the clothing line, the dolls, um, bringing people down so they can see. Yeah, the dolls. <laughs> so it's a nation. So this album is about bringing our people together so we can build. That's why the concept is like Berthier, 
Okay. Like, you know, and okay. loving yourself as an African. How many songs do we have on that album? It's about 14 songs. 14. So like 12 and two bonus tracks. Yeah, it's about do you have a favorite? It's hard to say a favorite, but the, the, next, the one we're dropping like in the next two weeks or so, it's like it was really close to my heart because okay. it's, it's a song that means a lot and it, it lets people understand where my mind is at. So What's we, the title? Brave Fear. Yeah, Brave Fear. Yeah. I, 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 I've, I've listened to Brave Fear. I think it's a fantastic then, piece. Yeah, and then I, I have, I have an, another one called um, Quality, and then I have another one called Asamaba. So <laughs> it's, Asamaba. Yeah, so it's different vibes. It's, in, it's interesting. What, what, what inspired the Asamaba? Asamaba, Asamaba yeah, like, yeah, as in, yeah. like, they're killing us out there. Mm. We're killing each other. Like, okay. why are we doing this? It's time for us to wake up and love each other and protect each other. And that's what Asamaba is about. It's like Asamaba, Asamaba feel, that kind of vibe. So, gang, 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 Asamaba. <laughs> that's not how the song goes, though, but. But you're just. Uh, yeah. no, but, I mean, the, just the thought of it gives me yeah. chills. No, trust me, and that's the vibe. That's the perfect way to describe that. So when you listen to it, you get goosebumps because mm -hmm. it's like, it's highlighting the problems that we have and how we can solve them. Then people know that I said my brother, yo, let's move, let's go. Debut, yeah. that's also a good from the Yeah, yeah. Debut. Hey, no phone formula like though. No, no, no. It starts with a sweat. And no kind of tea. But, but, but it's been amazing. I mean, this is. I never knew that you could smile like this because you're always. Hey, I'm, I'm always serious. No, no, yeah, you're always serious. Like, feels like, I don't know. Hey, what kind of perception do you have of you so easy? I'm well, a very happy ask, person. You can ask the, your, your, your people out there. Oh, is there maybe okay, what, what kind yeah. of perception do you have of you so easy? All, all I do is love and love and love. Make yeah. you dance and dance and dance. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, not, it's not just for the camera or you actually meant it. No, of course. Wow. I, I always say we divide. What would they do? We divide. So, <laughs> it's always vibes, you know? But yeah, nah, I'm, I'm all about love. If you know me, if you know me, know me, I'm all about love. But at the same time, we are at war with how they're seeing us out there. And we need to change that. You understand? So as much as yeah, I'm a happy person, I also know that it's time to fight for our people. Yeah. I mean, apart from music and apart from all the charity work that you're doing, I don't know about being active, uh, because... How about uh, TV presentation? Oh, that one is easy. Yo, welcome to my show, Boy Free Soul DG. New African Nation, we there here. Where we live? Mm -hmm. We there here. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, let's just close the show. <laughs> so we are closing the show right now. Your Boy Free Soul DG with the legendary queen, Queen Becky in the house, AKA the director behind everything that you love. Yo, I hope you enjoyed yourself. The next episode, I'm going to be cooking you the best fufu with sweat and palm nut soup. But if you so DG, this is New Africa, New African Nation. We're signing out. Please, <laughs> <laughs>